Hey friends, it's Miss Rachel again here with another art project put on by the East Side Community Arts. Today we're going to be learning a little bit about and creating art inspired by Mexican tin art or another name is repujado or ojalata. So here you see three different examples of Mexican folk art and hearts are a pretty common thing so we can focus on that because we all have them and if you have a design ready you can go ahead and use that as your inspiration so you see here the drawing that I created is similar to the heart here you can create anything you want after you learn how to do this for example here is a hibiscus flower I made a star so stay tuned and let's get our stuff together so all you're gonna need is a piece of aluminum foil from your kitchen the kind that your family uses to to cook a piece of cardboard if you don't have cardboard you can use a stack of paper maybe like two or three papers and fold them in half so it creates a little bit of a cushion or you can use a foam pad or what do you call those? Um, a mouse pad. Other materials, materials you're going to need are a pencil, some tape, any kind of tape will do, and watercolor markers to start out with, or permanent markers, which work a lot better. But both of them can be used, and they're they're fine. If you have permanent markers to use, you're going to want to draw either side of the foil is good. If you only have the watercolor markers, you're going to want to draw on the inside the dull part of the foil. So one, one part is not as shiny and one part is very shiny. If you have the Sharpie, you can use either side. If you have the watercolor, you want to just use the inside. I'm planning on using my Sharpie today, so I'm going to make sure that I wrap my cardboard around and that it's on the shiny side. So I'm going to start on the dull side, put my cardboard down, and when I fold it over, the foil will be shiny. That's what I'm going to use to draw on. Now you can take a paper clip or some scotch tape, any tape. I usually use painter's tape because it's easy to take off. I'm going to take my drawing and if I want to add anything cool to it, I'm going to go ahead and do that before I lay it on top of the foil. So let me make some designs. So as you see, I did a rough sketch here of a flower. I'm adding it straight to my paper and when I'm done, now this is our practice. Remember the first one's always our practice. I'm gonna take my paper, I'm gonna center it on the foil and cardboard and tape it down. I'm just gonna take my pencil. I'm gonna trace the entire design, tracing it all, not moving my paper. All right, I traced my entire flower. And what I'm gonna carefully do is just lift the paper and you see that that transferred directly onto the tin foil. So I took my pa I'm taking this off very carefully. I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to start coloring. Now if you see Sharpie works really well to make the heart. So I'm just going to make the outline of the heart for now. Remember you can pick any color that you like for your artwork. This is for you. Sharpie kind of represents or resembles the enamel paint that the artisans use in Mexico. So, so I took a different color Sharpie and I made different designs. And there's more to finish. All right, so there's our finished product. One repujado. Now, if you only have paper to work with, I folded a few pieces of paper into a fourth. So I took the whole 
a folded in half hot dog style and hamburger style. And now I'm gonna put the foil around it. But this time, since I'm gonna try to use my watercolor marker, I'm going to use the dull part. So if you notice, this part is not shiny. Same thing. I did the same type of heart, but I did not put the flower in the center. I just left it blank. And it comes out, if you can see there. Now, depending on what kind of watercolor markers you have, the color might not come out that great. You can always use acrylic paint or experiment with something else. This is kind of working. You got to do it in layers. So you fill it in and then you let it dry and then you can go over the parts that kind of separated. But this is, this is like your last resort. All right. So I went ahead and filled in the heart with a pink marker. Now I'm using a green marker to do the border and it seems like the green marker works a little bit better than the pink marker. So test out your different markers and see which ones work best for your designs. So here is the original repujado from Mexico. And these come from Oaxaca and from Guanajuato. Those are two states in Mexico. We have the hibiscus flower, and then we also have the one done with Sharpie. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope you enjoyed this art project. Please refer to your handout if you need any more details, and we'll see you again. Take care.